Well hello there, this is Ogma001, and I know I said I would be doing full lat, but I decided to do this instead because, uh, I'm completely insane and have no control over any of my actions and act purely out of impulse. But this is a game I've been having fun with, and I thought I'd share it with you. This is Crater, um, the best way I can describe Crater is it feels like a cross between, I don't know, Baldur's Gate and Diablo? So you go around completing quests, the combat feels like Diablo, but it's also got a squad-based feel. And um, I've been finding it very fun, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. So we're going to play in offline mode, and uh, it'll come up to the next screen. Oh no. Can't the crater, right through this. our home, was born in the Untergang when the old world died. The land we now walk upon was once known as Sweden, ruled by a tribe of diligent builders and fearless warriors. Nevertheless, the Untergang arrived. The sky and earth changed as billions died. Amongst the survivors were a stalwart band of settlers who, surrounded by death, found refuge in the verdant crater. Their new home did not only offer fertile soil, but also treasures from the past, buried beneath. Greed and avarice lured us into opening gates that should have remained sealed. Sinister forces were drawn to our wealth, like flies to a corpse. Gathering at the rim that had protected us for so long. I for one, prayed to Saida that someone somewhere was willing to make a stand. So yeah, that's the intro. Um, as you can tell, we're going to make a stand, but um, I think first of all, we should work out what the hell is going on. Hey, wake up! Oh, my head. Man, you guys really did a number on that place last night. So yes, as you can see, the game starts off, we wake up with a bad hangover, and we are fucking wasted. Really? Ah, oh, my head. Sure, I understand you were celebrating finally arriving at Crater, job contract in hand, but did you really need to trash the whole town? If I were you, I'd start picking the- I'd start picking up the sorry pieces of myself and get my ass out of here. Um, what's with all the hostility? I think your friends might be able to help with the answer to that particular question. Right, where are they? Your bruiser's over there, he's in pretty bad shape. I suggest you take control of him with spacebar. So yes, there are- the game works by you building a squad which consists of many different classes. This guy here is a, um, guy designed to be hit a lot and is basically a tank. Um, could you please remove the big guy from here? He's sort of scaring the customers. Sure, he's as good as gone. You'd better get out of here before landsmen show up. Go through the bar's back exit behind me and that will take you directly to the town gates. Fantastic. So, um, yep, yeah, movement. Uh, so this is uh, a brute, and uh, each you get three squad members, and as you can see our ability bar down here, each squad member will give you two abilities, so he gives us these two, um, which are designed to attract enemies, so you get this, which anything hit by that will get stunned, and uh, it will give him aggro. He also has a sweep attack, which he can use to uh, go, hey guys, you, enough with the shouting already. God damn idiots, destroyed all the cages and pens last night, now the wolves are out all over town. Oh, we're really sorry lady, please just stop shouting. You better go and take care of them before someone gets seriously hurt. What were you thinking? Right click on that Varg over there to attack it, or use A and left click to perform an attack move. Right, I'm on it, like a car bonnet, anyway. I have no idea why I said that, I apologize, I'm just completely insane, but it's time to fuck this Varg up. I don't know, is it Varg? Varg? I'm calling it a Varg. But anyway, left click, and explode! And swing! There we go, we've killed the Varg. Fantastic. Uh, we can also loot its corpse and get cool items, which is nice. Yep, we have an inventory screen. 
Uh, you don't have a character in this, per se. You control a squad, and uh, you'll need to swap out your squad members frequently, but we don't have access to the um, character menu, so I can't show you why you need to swap out, but trust me, uh, we will not have this character for the entire game. In fact, uh, I want to swap him out for... Yeah, your marks also have colours, so you can get, like, I think he's a grey, you can also get green and various other, you know, RPG archetypal types of shit. But anyway, let's talk to Party Boy. Hey guys! Ah, now what? You guys are awesome, that was the sickest night ever! Oh yes, right, absolutely. If you're looking for the rest of your crew, I think I saw your Medicus over there, you better go pick him up. I think he's been tampering a little too much with his uh, healing glove. Again, and managed to knock himself out cold. He's right over right there, around the corner. Hold down the middle mouse button to rotate the camera. Cool, thanks. So yeah, we, we got mad wasted last night, and... Uh, we're now trying to recuperate from our bender. As you can see, he's there, but he's sort of difficult to see, so we can rotate the camera, it's genius. So this is our healer, if you didn't get that from Medicus. So let's speak to our Medicus. Bats! Bats everywhere! <laughs> so as you can see, we don't have full health, but we now have two new abilities. So you get one that's sort of like a uh, healing beam, so he can move around while he's being healed with this, and oh my god. He also has a... Uh, a cast over time, which gets a little progress bar, and boom. We should probably do that to himself. So he can also heal, and boom. Yeah, we're almost good. We're almost all healed up. Almost ready to rock it. There we go. Fantastic. And we now have our team. We've got, we've got, you know, one more character to get, and then we've got a team. There are more classes than the three you start with, but everyone tends to fall into some role. So let's talk to James Von uh, Blisk. Blisket? I don't know. Let's talk to him. Are you guys looking for your regulator? As a matter of <laughs> as a matter of fact, yes. Have you seen that bossy bastard? I saw him just down the road, but there's a group of rapid Vargs in the way, so you'd better heal yourselves up before you go out there. Those Vargs will tear you apart otherwise, mate. <laughs> but hey, you got Medicus. That shouldn't be much of a problem. I don't know, um, as you can see everyone's wearing these uh, gas masks, that's probably because of the explosions and nuclear attacks and post-apocalyptia living. But uh, I don't know, uh, some people seem to think it hides characters, like you can't really connect because they don't have a face, but I, I find that their uh, gas mask actually tells you a little bit about them. I don't know. You can judge a man by his gas mask. But yes, let's get in there, let's fuck shit up. So, there we go, that's me using my tank abilities there. And, uh, there's me failing to use my tank abilities, but luckily our healer's got it, because our healer can still deal some damage and fuck shit up like a... Like a Polaroid picture. I don't know if you fuck shit up like a Polaroid picture, but... Yeah, t t make of that what you will. So let's, uh, keep moving on. Uh, don't look back. Uh... There, regulator. Snarr, snarr. Huh? What? No, you can't have my chainsaw! What? Oh, okay, I'm fine. Let's go. Let's go, yes. So this is our DPS chap. He's uh, also a little bit worse for wear, but we can fix him up. There we go. Fantastic. And I think we'll also... Yeah, that, that's, that's good. That's good. Fantastic. So he's got, you know, some area of effect stuff. I think he also has some crowd control. He's got a stun. Yeah, let's see his two abilities. In fact, I'll go through all of them. Cast area slow. Uh, slowing all enemies within range. It's a trap. Uh... The regulator, electric charge, stunning them for five seconds. Down, boy. Uh, nano stream, stay on target. <laughs> I love the uh, little flavor text. That's all, all nice. What friends are for? So if that's your basic charge to heal. That's stomp, and that's cleave. Well, you saw what they do. So we're all good. Nice to see you all back together. Now get the heck out of here before the uh, landsmen arrive and the crap really hits the carburetor. <laughs> yes, indeed. We better get the fuck out of here. So we've got our boys, we've got the crew, we are the road crew. So, um, we're now ready to fuck shit up. <laughs> the game is set on normal mode, would you like to change it? Normal mode sounds good, fantastic. I'm, I'm not going to be putting it on hard, this is just a standard run. I may turn it down, I may turn it up, depending on how easy we find it. But uh, I don't intend to, uh, fuck, let's just get on with it and stop rambling about difficulty. Opportunist robber. Now what do we have here? An unruly crew still suffering from the effects of last night's debauchery. Sounds like perfect victims to me. Everyone will think the locals just got you back for what you did. Um, 
What a morning. Give us a break, okay? <laughs> Hand over your valuables. <laughs> Look, just get out, get out of the way or face the consequences. <laughs> you got... You got... I want... Get them, boys! Um, let's... There we go. Um, we'll try to electrocute one of them. There we go. Um, that fucking cleave. I was, did terribly there, but luckily they were relatively easy. And, uh, we did quite well. So nice. Nice stuff. Now, all of you. There we go. Good boys. Good boys. There we go. So I think we're almost done in the tutorial zone, and we can get the hell out of here, and, uh, begin our epic journey that will take us across lands, and... Oh, can we open character yet? No, we cannot. Let's see who's this. Oh, there we go. So this is our nice big... It shows us crater. So, um... Yeah. I hope you're going to enjoy this Let's Play. Uh, hopefully the recording will have ended well. Um, chapter 1. I'm gonna be quiet. As a mere youth, my prayers were answered in the form of a dauntless band of freelancers, newly arrived in Sulcide. Determined to seize the opportunities only the diversity of the crater could provide, the future champions found themselves heading for a northern town. Heeding the call of adventure and coin by joining the service of a respected troubleshooter. Hello! Welcome to normal. My name's Ivar. I'm the guy who always gets stuck with the task of showing new people around. No offense. As I understand it, you're the new team looking for work, right? You should have a head over to the agency and talk to Alma. You'll find her waiting at the compound, um... You'll find her waiting over at her compound down the street. So yes, we're gonna go find some work, because that's what mercenaries do. We go around and we find work, save, save the world, get the booty, and uh... Don't go in the bar again, that's a terrible plan. But um, I'll show you a look at all the different people. So these are different classes, that guy I believe is Chopper or Slicer, I forget what they're called. But as you can see you can buy different dudes. None of these guys I want particularly, um, because they're greys. If I do get a new guy, it will probably be at least a green. You get greens eventually, but we lack sufficient funds to get new mercenaries. But anyway, um, so this is the character screen I was talking about. So, the way you can upgrade your characters is you give them different implants. And, um, you may see, uh, it locks. Uh, there's like a little lock there. That is because, um, we can only get... After we get to rank 4, he's useless, basically. Oh no, uh, after rank 5, he's useless. So as you level up, these will unlock and you can slot different things, but he can only get as high as level rank 5, and then he becomes useless, and we have to get an upgrade because you can't get these, because he's a crappy mercenary, who can only get to rank 5, I think. Which is not unfortuitous. But we will be swapping them out in no time. Well, actually, a little time, but it's not important. There's also a crafting system implemented, uh, there's a weapons dealer to our right, he'll sell us guns, and hookers, and blow. That guy sells upgrades that we can slot, but we still haven't ranked up, because we haven't been in enough combat just yet. So let's speak to, uh, Alma. Oh, you're my new team? Welcome to the agency. Let me know when you're ready for your first assignment. I know it must be a bit bewildering starting a new life in a place like this, but upcoming j but this upcoming job is quite urgent. How come you hired us? Uh. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is dangerous work during dangerous times. I've lost people recently. In fact, I have one whole team missing right now. You came with good recommendations and frankly, good help is hard to find these days. So times are bad, but surely bad times mean good business for a setup like yours, right? This is what's going on. Times ain't good, especially for poor folks living in uh, boondocks. Me? Business has increased, but so have the risks. Fair play. What's going on in Soulside that we should be aware of? You should definitely be aware of the, uh, <laughs> of Blood Clot. That's a fucking great name, Blood Clot. A bandit leader who's risen to become a major threat to the powers that be. He's a particularly nasty piece of work. Um, unt <laughs> unting. Uh, is that a typo or just supposed to be high accent? Unting all sorts of murderous scum under his command. I guess you're familiar with the whole deal about Underside? Um, underside, yeah. Um, sure, why not? You should also know the about the original families who control... Okay, I th believe this is Swedish development. I might have got that wrong. If 
If so, feel free to correct me in the comments, but I believe it's Swedish, which means there will become words like this, so I'm going to do my best. Stradsrad. In Soulside City. Or maybe something about our neighbouring nations of... <laughs> Bordebo. <laughs> and, uh... Okay, I'm just gonna let you read. When it gets like this, I'm gonna let you read it. Um, you mentioned a passing assignment. What is it about? Well, you see. Very well. Your first job is actually a personal favour to a friend of mine. Her name is Lovis Tavaholt. <laughs> that was a butchering of a name. And she resides across the square. Go talk to her. Fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and talk to her and hopefully pick up a quest and fuck shit up. Because that's what we're here to do. That's what mercenaries are best at. Fucking shit up. Ah, you're from the agency. It is good that you're here. I am worried sick. Our family has had a rough time recently. You see, my kids love their dog. Heck, I love that dog, but it caught something bad, and he isn't our nice little Harold anymore. I decided to put him down, but my kids wouldn't have any of it. I don't know why I find that funny. Harold ran away, and my kids have disappeared too, probably gone looking for him. People saw them head towards Bullfest Alley, uh, a back street behind the bar. Please find my kids. Don't worry, we're on it. Thank you, please hurry. Of course, baby cakes. No, I don't know why I just called her that. But we will go fuck up this dog and put him down for good, although I like dogs. I'm not sure I'm too comfortable with this assignment, but... Well, needs must. Needs must. Let's go rescue them kids. So, uh, as we corner here... Uh, let's adjust the camera. Let's fuck him up. There we go. He thought he was going to get away, but luckily our tank was like, No, you ain't hurting my friends, because that's, that's his job. That's his role. So let's speak to them. Thank you so much. We're looking for Harold, but Mum was right. He wasn't the same anymore. Yeah, you fucking moron child. Stein. We'll make it back ourselves, thanks again. You're welcome, you uh, childish cretins. I will destroy you all in a blaze of fire and destruction because I will end your soul. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the uh, town here. I love uh, Normal Helm or whatever it's called. It's it's a nice city. It's all, all the cities are. I like the art style. As you can see, everything's sort of got this, you know, it's just been pieced together. Well, it is the apocalypse, they're not going to have fucking skyscrapers and shit. Let's talk to Alma. Goodbye. I've been informed by Tavalt, her kids are safe. Excellent. Have some monies. I think we have a follow-up job on that one. It seems more dogs have been infected by whatever Tavalt has, mutt has caught. We may even have a pinpoint on the source of the problem. A man claiming he knows where the epidemic stems from has contacted us. His name is Mr. Carlson. Although we sincerely doubt that is his true name. Not, uh, nothing fake about his money, though. He's been complaining about a bunch of aggressive dogs showing up in his basement and he wants someone to take care of the problem. Apparently his partner is trapped down there and the situation has gone from bad to worse. Fantastic. Seek out Mr. Carlson to get some information. You'll be doing the uh, neighbourhood a favour and earn some cash while you're at it. He's a guy in blue pants hanging around Bullfest Alley at the rear of the bar. Thumbs up! <laughs> oh dear. Alright. I think we'll end things uh, as I enter this place. And um, I hope you've enjoyed. This is a pilot episode, so feel free to leave advice, what you thought of the video, and if you enjoy the series. Because if you absolutely hate this and think I'm an idiot and wish I would go die in a hole, feel free to say so and I'll go cry profusely for a couple hours. We are from the agency. Ah yes, of course, I see indeed. So what's the deal? First things first, you do not realise this undertaking <laughs> is a confidential and sensitive matter that requires the utmost discretion. Sure. Fine, then allow me to explain. Me and my business partner have a little operation in the basement of... Wait, you're free diggers? What? No, how did you find out who... where? Come on, even we know... <laughs> we who are new to Crater have heard about free diggers and how you operate. Sigh. I'm reluctant to use such crude terminology to describe my line of work. I prefer, uh, what we do, a responsible entre entrepreneurial initiative. Responsible? Yes. Well, yes. From my part, anyway. My colleague, on the other hand. Cut to the chase, please. Cut the crap. <laughs> okay. Yes, fine, of course. Here is a key to our basement in Bullfast Alley. My partner has disappeared, and those sick dogs now infest the whole place. Oh, yes. Go down, uh, <laughs> go down a little excavation and find my partner, Benget Manny Colts. Also, while you're at it, get rid of all the infested canine pests. We're on it. Free diggers. I can't remember what they do exactly, although apparently I should know. Mm, indeed. Anyway, let's get in the basement and I can, uh, I think we'll end things here.
This has been Ogma001. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. If you haven't, go fuck off.